आई एम डॉक्टर सत्यव्रत साहू एम डी डी एम क्लिनिक फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन मैनेजमेंट ऑफ डिसलिपिडेमिया वी ऑल नो दैट डिसलिपिडेमिया इज प्रिवेलिंग मोर एंड मोर इन द वर्ल्ड नाउ एड एज एंड डिसलिपिडेमिया मीन्स the rising of blood cholesterol levels more than 200 mg per dl or blood ldl low density lipoprotein levels more than 100 mg per dl or triglyceride level will be reach more than 150 mg per dl and एच डी एल लेवल लेस दैन फोर्टी एम जी पर डी एल एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ डिसलिपिडेमिया आर वीकनेस रेड ब्लड प्रेसर देर इज हेड रिलिंग माई इट वी ड्यू टू रेड ब्लड प्रेसर एंड देर इज फैटिक एंड lots of problem can occur due to dyslipidemia and the comorbidity associated with dyslipidemia it can also lead to acute coronary syndrome heart attack etc so it can also lead to peripheral arterial disease vascular disorder neurological disorder so we have to manage the dyslipidemia cautiously with proper medication there are two types of dyslipidemia primary dyslipidemia secondary dyslipidemia and dyslipidemia due to hypothyroid can occur also and the mechanism is very complex mechanism we will discuss that in later case sessions and you can watch my other videos for knowing lots of about dyslipidemia videos are there in the in my channel you can see watch and learn and you can also go through different articles and guidelines to find out the uh, management of dyslipidemia more and more and you can learn a lot and generally we diagnose the dyslipidemia when a patient came to us we give him test for lipid profile and according to the range of the lipid profile we diagnose him or her as patients of dyslipidemia hello hello everyone and the dyslipidemia management is sometimes easy sometimes very difficult and there are lots of groups of drugs like we can give hmg coa reductase inhibitors like atorvastatin rojuvastatin simvastatin pitavastatin etc for the management of uh, dyslipidemia we can use atorvastatin 10 mg or in high dose for the management of severe cases of dyslipidemia and also we can use other drugs like cholesterol absorption inhibitor like ejetimibe it has also 10 mg once daily or we can also change the dose after on the basis of the case then also there are other drugs like if the triglyceride is more than uh, 200 we can use also fibrate for the management power is 160 120 mg and we can also change 
the dose accordingly on the basis of the patient's condition and another drug there is uh, vampidoic acid you can also use and if it is not controlled then we can use the resin bindings colecephalan etc and also uh, we can use uh, the pcsk9 inhibitors like alirocumab ivorlocumab for the management of severe dyslipidemia that is not controlled by other two or three drugs like this we have to manage also the comorbidities associated with dyslipidemia like hypertension we have to give hypertensive medicines if there is hypertension in a patient due to dyslipidemia then we can give antihypertensive medications and if a patient is having cardiovascular disorder or acute coronary syndrome we should manage the patient according to their condition and their comorbidities if there is peripheral vascular disease we can give the drugs according to their condition and you can watch my video and subscribe uh, my channel and you can see lots of videos on uh, management of acute coronary syndrome management of uh, uh, dyslipidemia and management of also hypertension management of uh, peripheral vascular disease all are given in my uh, previous videos uh, that is in my channel you can watch my channel and learn more and more about all these things and we should monitor the patient for long term follow up of dyslipidemia every three months we have to do the lipid profile and also there are lots of genetic causes of dyslipidemia and the genetic due to genetic cause of dyslipidemia it is very difficult to manage as it is related to the gene mutation or genetic impairment so in that case we can go for lots of investigations like we can do the genetic analysis or uh, pharmacogenomics and gen pharmacogenetic studies will be done to know the dyslipidemia cause of uh, genetic impairment and hello hello onushri hello trix kemar hello aman alam hello katar okay you can ask any question on dyslipidemia if you want to know i will try my best to answer your questions is there anyone okay there are no one in this uh, now only written hello hi okay 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 now one person join uh, can I have any question can you have any question Please ask me some questions so that I can answer you. So, so no questions there. So then, then uh, this way we are able to manage the dyslipidemia, and uh, the dyslipidemia has a complex mechanism, and the management of dyslipidemia is. sometimes very easy and sometimes it is very difficult according to the condition of the patient and we should be cautious while using these dyslipidemic anti dyslipidemic drugs these as it may alter the liver function uh, and other things like or the parameters of the body and it can raise the lipid uh, liver function scot scpt etc 
so we have to monitor regularly about the liver function tense lipid profile we can have to do ecg in case of acute coronary syndrome echo in case of heart failure and we have to give the complete blood count if there is any infection or not we have to do the kidney function test thyroid profile and like this lots of investigation to be done for the management of the patient who is suffering from dyslipidemia and associated with other comorbidities so ultimately the patient's health is very important for a doctor and also for his only her family members so the family members should give attention to their to their family members and who is suffering from dyslipidemia and other things is that we can advise dyslipidemia patients to do more and more the moderate exercise and diet control to avoid fatty spicy and uh, foods and also in case of hypertension uh, we have to tell him to avoid salt in the more salt intake we have avoid that and regular exercise and diet control can prevent the dyslipidemia development more and more if there is dyslipidemia already happened after diet control and exercise then we can add medications to control dyslipidemia so dyslipidemia is a condition that can be manageable by the patient also by the doctors by various ways and we all know that prevention is better than cure so we should focus on prevention more than treatment so that a healthy society can be formed without having dyslipidemia anyone can ask me questions about dyslipidemia and i am ready to answer your questions as quickly as possible and if you have no question then you can question in the chat box and i will answer after few days if there was any chat in the video uploaded in my channel please subscribe and share and like my videos and we will discuss again on different topics in for the session so for today that's all so we will meet again on a different day thank you very much jai jagannath धन्यवाद